The peculiarity of this circuit of pulse voltage stabilizer is the simplicity of design and absence of regulating components. How the device works? When you switch on the power on the capacitor C2, the voltage is equal to zero and the current begins to flow via the resistor R1 and the emitter junctions of the transistors VT1 and VT2. Further on, the transistors VT1 and VT2 and then VT3 and VT4 start to open. The capacitor C2 starts to be charged by the current, which flows through the choke L1. Once the capacitor's voltage exceeds the voltage of the stabil volt stabilization, the transistors VT1 and VT2 are closed, and thus the transistors VT2 and VT3 also close. The diode VD4 provides the current flow through the choke L1 when the transistor VT4 is closed. Once the voltage across the capacitor C2 becomes less than the voltage of the stabular volt stabilization, the process is repeated. The electronic components applied in the circuit guarantee a stable output voltage of 5 volts with a maximum load current of 0.7 amperes. The pulse rate for this current is about 0.1 volt. The efficiency of the stabilizer is approximately uh, 80 to 85 percent. The input voltage is limited to allowable voltage of the transistors VT1 to VT4, which means that it must not exceed 25 volts. An important pa part of the device is the choke, which is selected on the basis of its performance at frequencies up to 80 kHz. High frequency uh, leads to excessive overheating of the power transistor VT4.